the Disney movie Hocus Pocus, there's a special candle called the Black Flame Candle. It had the power to bring back the three magical sisters, the Sanderson sisters, on Halloween. Let's talk about fire for a moment. Fire happens when certain things in the air mix with something that can burn, like wood or paper. This mix makes a lot of heat, and the heat makes things glow. That's why we see flames. Sometimes the light behind a fire is brighter than the fire itself, and it can create a shadow. This shadow shows up where the light is blocked by the fire. It's important to note, at this point, there is no such thing as a true black flame candle that you can walk up light and it just glows black because light does not omit black, which is the absence of light. But here's something cool. If you shine a special kind of street lamp light on a fire made from a certain kind of salt, it actually kind of looks like the fire turns black. When this special salt burns, it splits into a shiny metal and a stinky gas. The shiny metal gives off a yellow-orange flame, and the gas makes it look a bit greenish. Most things that burn, like candles and wood, have this special salt to them, sodium. So we usually see a yellow flame when you test it in a special way. That's where the yellow doesn't look so yellow. Imagine an old-style street lamp, not one of those new LED ones. It has within it a sodium light. When you shine it on a fire made from sodium, the fire looks dark because the salt soaks up the light from the salt lamp. These sodium street lamps come in two kinds, low pressure and high pressure. They're often used to light up streets in big areas like parking lots. They're the ones that have that orangey, weird glow to them. And you could tell they're definitely not LED streetlights. They work by making that special kind of light with sodium. So it's strange to think of a fire as dark. But this is how it works with sodium. The sodium grabs the light from the sodium lamp, and that's why it looks dark or black. It's kind of like the flame from the candle in the movie Hocus Pocus. But it's not. But it kind of is. It's actually really cool. You you got to check it out. So find a candle with sodiums in it. Okay? Give it a go. If it doesn't work at first, keep trying. This special salt can make the flame look dark, even if there are tiny amounts of it mixed in with other things. The following sodium compounds are commonly used to create yellow flames. Table salt, sodium chloride, sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, soda for washing, sodium carbonate, sodium nitrate, it acts as an oxidant as well. There might be other compounds Mixed in with those components, though, because of the boron, sodium borate produces a green flame rather than a yellow flame. Other sodium compounds, however, produce a yellow flame, but are not employed for safety reasons. So look, use caution while dipping your toes into this one. Google some resources and keep in mind, it's, it's not my fault if you hurt yourself, okay? So maybe you just want to go on YouTube and find a video of someone else doing it and stay safe out there. These are Interesting Things with J.C.